For the first time in about four years, El Nino conditions are in place for the approaching winter. In this week's Weather Wonders, meteorologist David Tillmans explains what an El Nino is and what it could mean for us this winter. When an El Nino event occurs, waters in the eastern and central Pacific are warmer than usual. Statistically, El Nino events are declared when the Oceanic Nino Index, or ONI, reaches plus one half degree Celsius or greater. The ONI is a three month average of sea surface temperature deviations and it is updated each month. So why does this occur? Normally, easterly trade winds blow from South America to Asia, carrying warmer water to the Western Pacific. During an El Nino event, these trade winds weaken and in some cases can reverse direction. This allows warm water to exist farther east towards the west coast of the Americas. Despite this happening thousands of miles away from us, El Ninos can still have major impacts on weather in northeast Indiana and northwest Ohio. With warmer waters in the eastern Pacific, the position of the Pacific jet stream shifts southward and extends farther east. The shifting of the jet and associated moisture helps amplify storm tracks across the southeast where winters tend to be cooler and wetter than average. Locally, El Nino winters are typically warmer and drier than normal, and this will likely be the case for the upcoming winter season. The Climate Prediction Center recently released its national winter outlook, suggesting that there is an above average chance of us experiencing both warmer temperatures and less precipitation than usual. There's no fixed schedule, but El Nino and La Nina events typically occur every two to seven years. Conditions persist for an average of nine to 12 months, but can sometimes last a couple of years or longer. One recent El Nino event lasted 19 months from the fall of 2014 through the spring of 2016. I'm meteorologist David Tillmans for Weather Wonders.